It was about late March. I got pneumonia. A fight for his life, nearly three weeks long. My fever got up to 105. And with each breath for Jeff Martindale, the battle waged on. It was intensive care, basically, the ICU, and it was scary. Jeff is sharing his survivor story from Yukon Health to his journey home. Just 47 years old, Jeff, who works on the business side at ESPN, was among the first COVID-19 patients diagnosed at the hospital. He has spent most of this month relying on a ventilator to keep him alive. It really comes after you hard, just quickly, like my respiratory system and my fever within a day or two were spiking into levels that you're not supposed to see. With each day, his condition became more dire. Jeff credits the doctors and nurses at UConn Health. The nurses and doctors were fearless, like they didn't even think twice, but they came right in there and did whatever was needed. And perhaps that led to this, a miraculous recovery. This is Jeff last week, leaving the ICU. He is the first patient at UConn Health who was on a ventilator and now released. And today, another first, a chance for Jeff to see his nurses again. Jeff, you might not recognize them, uh, no PPEs, but we wanted you to say hi to uh, Melissa and Daisy, uh, two of your nurses. I have no words to express how I feel, how my wife feels uh, about me still being here. So thank you so much for everything that you do and everything that you're currently doing. Daisy Velez is an intermediate unit nurse at UConn Health. You know how good it is to see you like this. Um, you're gonna make me cry. It's been a lot for us and we're so happy to see that you're doing good. Very happy, we used to check on you every day. So what do you say to these two? I was in the hands of, of Daisy and Melissa and, and the team of people at UConn. And so to see people just, I'm gonna do whatever it takes for this man to live and to have a life after he's done. And they were just not on my watch. Uh, I am not gonna let this, this person uh, go on my watch. And Jeff unwittingly has become a symbol of hope for his healthcare workers on the front lines. I am very happy to see him doing well. Um, it was very scary. Actually, he was one of my first patients with COVID, you know, from day one, Jeff, you're gonna be with us through this whole experience. And we're just so happy you guys that you're doing well, you and your wife. I'm the one that is overwhelmed with joy because I'm still alive. So uh, I just can't, can't thank you guys enough. In Farmington, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.